Hey, what is going on guys? It is Lachlan here and welcome back to a brand new episode of How to Minecraft. Now guys, for today, I've got a couple things prepped up. On the last episode, I said I'd go ahead and do some off-screen level training. Look at that, baby. Level 40. Level 40. XP. It took me, like, I was in the wall for about 10-20 minutes just rendering some stuff and then getting XP. It was actually kind of easy. I probably shouldn't have gone that far, but I was like, screw it, we can do extras and whatnot. Because the main thing I want to do is get a Sharpness 4 book to build up upon a Sharpness 5 axe. And have my thing maxed out on crushing and sharpness. And he's, the axe's damage, if you guys missed it last episode, it's, it's, it's bonus 4 damage. That's as high it goes. That's the cap. So, we'll have to see about that, but then I went mining as well, used the Silk Touch pick, and grabbed some Diamond Ore. Now, the thing is, I was reading a comment um, on a way to possibly exploit these things. Now, I will go ahead and say that don't bother trying this on Treasure Wars, because it would be, it would be fixed. Uh, now, it may not be fixed on other things, but people were saying that if I were to get a... Um, oh, we actually have some iron here. If I was to get a uh, piston, sticky or whatever, doesn't really matter. If I was to get a piston and uh, use it in a way so that it would move the block so that the server thinks it placed it there and I didn't place it there. And therefore, in turn, allowing it to, uh, in a sense, I think I've done that the wrong way around. Uh, yeah, I think it goes cobble on the side and wood on top. All right, yeah, let me fix that real quick. Uh, wood on the side. No, I did that wrong again. It's wood on top cobble on the side. Uh, yeah, would allow you to get a, another drop with your silk touch. So, if I was not failure, um, and placed this here, and simply, wait, let me pick these up, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're running out of silk touch, by the way, which kind of sucks. Uh, if I was to place this block in a different place, so get my redstone torch here, move it so the server moves it, break it, do I have a chance of obtaining I wish I had a lever here. Let's get a lever. This is too much. I just want to see if it's a possible method. Uh, and if it is, I will not abuse it anyway because that would be cheating. Uh, and, you know, that's just salt to cheat on the service. You're not allowed to do that. It's kind of frowned upon. Um, <laughs> it's kind of frowned upon. Uh, so if I go ahead, move it. Heck, let's move all these in. All right. And one more because otherwise the last one will get pushed out. Now let's do this one again. So they're all been moved by the server. Okay, so let's try and see if we get more than our lot. That time we got four. I don't know. It was like a top comment. Actually, I guess I should just put them here and then move them all. There was like a top comment. And people did say that you could get more. But I think your theory has been busted, my friend. Um, I'll try a super break around. Um, but it seems like... Yep, no, it seems like uh, the piston, it may have worked in an old version of MCMMO, but all it's done right now is just waste my durability of my silk touch. So, just want to confirm that right there, that doesn't actually work. It also took me like quite a while to find those diamonds, so I'm kind of pissed I wasted that time. Uh, but that's okay, welcome back to the brand new episode of How to Minecraft. Today, what we're hopefully going to be doing is working with our levels that we got off screen to try and get that sharpness free book, like I said, get sharpness full, and then put that on our axe and max that thing out. Then that will be dealing the most amount of uh, damage an axe can do. The other thing I would really like to have on it is a life steal. Can't get that. I have to be you know, RNG gods with the dungeons and whatnot. So uh, first things first, though. Actually, no, we'll break the diamonds after because we don't want the XP like it's an emergency. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that level 30 book enchant. Let's go ahead. My inventory is quite messy. I didn't clean it up, but I got more. Uh, I actually didn't pick up any of the zombie flesh because I used a different inventory and I took it all back out. Uh, so let's see here. Sharpness 3 is what we want. So let's take this. Uh, it's also out of interest to see what the next uh, book thing is. We still need that looting enchant. Fortune Bane, Efficiency. God, we got some crap going on in here. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and grab the rest of our books. There's going to be a lot of book combinations. Uh, so where are my sharpnesses at? Here are my sharpnesses. Um, okay, wait up. Let's let's clean up my inventory first because it's so messy right now. Um, let's just throw all this stuff in the rabbit hole. So let's see. You're going to the rabbit hole, rabbit hole, rabbit hole, rabbit hole. Um, rabbit hole. Yeah, carrot in the rabbit hole. That's so cute, but kind of sad. Um, and people are saying, is burnt toast, is toast burnt? Like, come on, guys. You've missed episodes if you don't know about toast. And no, you did not get burnt. Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's just throw this away. And honestly, screw that. It doesn't really prove anything of a use because it was it just became redundant, really. Um, all right. That should be enough. Let's go ahead and grab the mass amount of books that we're going to need out of this place. Uh, let's also place these junk ones that we don't need. So sharpness. 
Unbreaking can go on the unbreaking line of things. There we go. Uh, so sharpness, sharpness, efficiency. Where does the efficiency go? It goes right here. Um, so I'm going to take out one, two, three three of these sharpnesses because I'm going to combine all of them. This is going to take a lot of levels to work with. Uh, so I'm a little scared. We're not going to be doing 30 enchants after this, that's for sure. Uh, sharpness two, and then combining it on the thing as well. Ah, uh, it's going to be brutal. And there is a sharpness four book. And then we put the sharpness four book. It's going to go 19 levels. Uh, I think this is the last enchant we're going to add to our axe. Uh, we're going to have to add looting to something else. It's just going to work, but Sharpness 5, Crushing 5, Axe, the Dream, Fire Aspect, some Unbreaking, a little bit of Storm to come down on them as well, and it's done. We now have one level, sick. Um, so, uh, yeah, there it is. The Salty Axe has been, in all regards, maxed out from the Crushing and Vanilla Enchants. Like I said, life still would have been great, but it's just not happening, so don't. Just deal with it. Um, anyway, let's break these and see what we can get. I'm too tired to use that ability. Screw it, let's just go without it. Uh, let's see what we can get here out of these diamonds. Out of four, we got 13. That's not bad. That's pretty good. It's actually really good. Um, so we'll put these diamonds away. How many diamonds are we at total? I'll just keep them all out of the chest. No one's going to steal from us. We had a stack of diamonds total, and I think a stack of diamonds goes for quite the amount. It uh, goes for a whole 30 whopping K. Damn. Alright, uh, so we'll take these zombie fleshes and go sell them up. Mainly to try and get some XP from these guys. I don't know if they really drop it. We're probably going to pay another visit back to the uh, that dungeon, the Northern Dwarven Halls, because it sort of reset on us uh, as we were there. So we're going to go back there, give that a visit, and mainly try to get some XP from that guy. Uh, that guy. I, I talk like the dungeon or the Northern Dwarven Halls is like a guy. Like, you know, you're just going to go get the hook up and then try to get that looting in chat that we've been trying to just search for for the last 50 episodes, it feels like. Um, so let's find our clerks that want to trade zombie flesh for emeralds. Don't know why, but we can do that if that's what you guys want to do. Alrighty, and there is the 20. Nice little four emeralds. Thank you very much. Not bad for just killing some zombies, I guess. And let's head off into it. I want to just jump straight into it, guys. I want to hopefully try and not have this... Uh, take up the majority episode. The majority episode I want to spend in the nether trying to get some skulls. So Dwarven, oh, it's Northern, Northern, Dwarven Halls. Why can he just do NDH or something? All right, and that's right. These guys came out. Yo, get okay. Oh, zombie. All right, GG boys. Just getting the Rex real quick. Getting like a level of hit. And that's right. There is those XP uh, orbs down the bottom that I sort of uh, left there at the end of the last episode. If you guys catch that, we sort of nearly died, which was kind of dramatic, I guess you could say. I'm not even going to bother having the health potion out because I can't even use it in these dungeons, which sucks. Uh, for some reason, it's a little louder right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that down to 10%. Got some things echoing in here and whatnot. Um, alrighty. And we might go for some Skellix recordings at the end of this as well. Just to see if we can get some nice little bangers laying down. Alrighty, some Zambies. Hello, guys. How are we? Die, die, die. You as well. I'm mainly here for the XP. Not so much the boss dungeon fight, even though I got um, cheaped out. But I did get half of the loot. But I swear if, like, in that split second, the loot that I didn't get was, like, a legendary axe or something that was really good. And actually, I'll be really pissed off if I get, like, a sharpness 1, lifesteal 5, crushing 5 axe. Because then I have to essentially just go through all that crap again. And that's going to really suck. I mean, it's going to be good because I'm going to get, like, the best weapon. But, like, I'm going to have to build that axe up again. It's going to suck. Alright. Because that took so long for me to actually get this up. Um, is my axe not one-banging these guys? It should be one-banging them. Only if I get the criticals, really. Interesting. Because um, I would have thought I'd be one banging them for sure. I uh, don't have a strength potion on me. I really should have brought that. I didn't really come for that. Uh, I think I might just save spot you, dude. As much of a jag I am for doing it. I'm gonna. Okay. I think if I bounce up here, that little bit that I fall down, I can get a crit. So. Don't move. No, come back up here. No, come back up here. It was so good when we had you up here. Ah, oh, why are you gonna do this? I'm gonna try and get him on the fall down. So. If I. Get him. There we go. That was a crit. That was a crit. I'm just trying to get him on the way down. Get those crits. I'm such a cheeky one. It's actually melting him, though. Just being nice and cheeky with my little step. What's he up to now? I think he's nearly half. Yeah, he's like nearly half. These critical hits with the, the critical, critical hits, maybe with an activation of crushing a well as well, sorry, are like mincing this guy. All right. I want to go back up there and do some jumps. All right. Let me just... <laughs> 
Damn it. All right, you're actually getting kind of close, so I have to evacuate and get back up into my safe spot. All right, this is the spot of safe. Come back up if you wish. All right, I want to activate my... Um... Damn it, that keeps happening. Uh, yeah, I want to activate... I guess we'll do it now while he's in this mode. Oh, we're still taking damage from that. And we can put it back on, put it back on, put it back on. There we go. Just wanted to get that back. All right, Soul Bearer, you are nearly RKO'd. I could probably 1v1 you. Get that to blow up. You may blow up. Free Creeper Head for me, boys. <laughs> I love doing that. Every time I come in here, I see one of those. I just got a free Creeper Head. And that just adds to the collection. All right, this guy's nearly dead. I'll 1v1 this guy now. Let's see how quickly we can mince that one heart. Trying to get some crits. 10% chance to deal a crit is not half bad, I'm not gonna lie. Don't you dare refresh after a refresh. A double refresh would be too bad. Alright, here we go. We already looted it. Sick. Yeah, because we technically missed the first one and looted the second one. Makes sense at least. Alright, but that's fine. We got our 15 levels, which was the main thing we came for. I just need I'm not gonna be able to get the looting three enchant. I'm just not going to be able to. It's impossible for me to get at this stage. I should, unless I get to the 30 in chance again. But we wasted that on our sharpness 5, which I don't know if that was really... I, I mean, it's definitely worth it. But at this stage, really, I don't know. I should have done it just yet. Because I could have got the 30, so I could have got the wither skull and whatnot. That's fine. Let me just wreck some of these noobs real quick. Get our levels and get out. Alright, now that's... That's actually kind of weird. Cobblestone fence... In front of Glowstone. It looks so weird. Alright, let's go back to the homes and throw away all these random bows it always wants to give us. Heck, we'll keep it for dispensers, I guess. Get the full built bow if we can get the full built bow. And we're just off. Close enough. We'll get another tacky one and put it on, I guess, or something. Um, so we're going to have the Creeper Skull. We're going to put that at the front like we do with the rest of our stuff. Um, I guess we'll keep looking for a looting one book because I don't really want to walk in the other without a looting, like, you know, like a looting book. I wonder if we can get charged creepers to come into the nether for me and just get wither skulls every time. I think that is one... I think you can get wither skulls that way, but it's obviously, like, not... Like, it's just not worth it because you're wasting your charged creeper, which is, like, meant to be one of the rarest mobs in Minecraft. Um, a legit. Not when they spawn from boss mobs. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and check out what we got going on here. I'll take a looting too, but it's just got to come up on the books, I guess. Um, let's see. Punch, efficiency, power... Take power. Let's go. What do we got next? Sharpness. We don't want sharpness anymore. So we'll just take aqua affinity. Save the levels. All right. Next up, sharpness, efficiency, efficiency. Once again, we do not need the sharpness anymore. Knockback projectile protection. Okie dokie. Looks like we're out of books again. Which is kind of annoying. And I have a new one which doesn't fit. So I'm going to put that there. Uh, efficiency. Um, protection and I'm breaking. That's the first time I had like a double book. I'll just put it under protection. Oh, it's funny because it's right next to I'm breaking as well. It's good. Uh, and power as well. So that's going there. All right. Um, I guess my other strategy for going through with this was to try and do some trades with the villagers to unlock them back again so they would trade with me. Um, now, the main thing I need is leathers to make books. Uh, let me double check though. Uh, so when I was doing these, I sort of screwed up. I screwed up in the sense that I didn't take the trade off every time I would trade with them. And that would just... It would get me my emeralds quicker, but at the cost of the villager getting his trades maxed out straight away and not being able to trade after that. So if you look here, this is the problem. Uh, and I'm just trying to see if I can do any trades that won't destroy me. That's... Nine books is nine leathers for an emerald. But I only need to do it once. Uh, I'd rather do a written book. Yeah. A written book. Let me just check what we got here. Fortune, power. All right. So let's get a couple written books in the household. So let's go ahead and kill some of these without looting. I wonder if this is just going to be like the biggest running joke of the series to get a looting, a looting enchant. Like I swear the last 10 episodes have been trying to get this thing. It's just not happening. Uh, I wonder if someone's villager. Someone's villager I think does have one because I've seen comments of it. Like uh, this, like Vic has it or Choco, probably Choco. Choco's probably got everything in the game right now. Uh, <laughs> let's be real. Um, nine. So that'll, let's get even numbers here. Let's get one more piece. Okay. We need even numbers. Keep giving me even numbers now. There we go. Perfect. All right. Thanks for your assistance. So we're going to get 12, which will be a set of six. We reset a lot of trades with these guys. 
Um, now, if you guys don't know how to make written books, we did a couple episodes ago. You need a book, you need a feather, and you need an ink sack. Um, and then you need to write on it. So, but you can't finish the book in this game because of the crashes. Oh, you're taking the absolute piss right now. I might do it and then get them converted by like... Um, I don't even know if they can be converted. Let me see right now. Oh, this is going to suck so freaking much. I think I'm going to need to use the books. Um, yeah, I mean, heck, don't even waste my uh, books. Uh, I'm going to waste so much leather right now. Let me have a look and see. Because these are just book and quills that I would be making. And then if I want to make a thing, I go sign. Uh... Keck, and then crash. Ooh, it can be done! Alright, awesome, as long as you don't put anything in it. Awesome. Okay. Sound. Okay, awesome. I thought that was going to be the glitch. Um, people were saying that books were patched. Let me see if books are actually patched, though. Or if people were joking around. Uh, banter, I want him killed. Done. Okay, they lied to me again. Thanks. Sick banter. I guess, great. Great banter. Uh, so that's why I have to stick to those order forms of paper for now. All right. Let's put the order forms away. Uh, and let's get back to home and get this going and then trade them into the villages. So uh, let's get a couple Keck books written. Uh, sign, Keck, sign and close. Keck, sign and close. Uh, oh, wait, no, that'll crash us. Um, wait, no, I think... Actually, I think I can make a duplicate by putting that in a crafting table. Yeah, see? Smart. Alright, anyway, uh, let's grab the feathers. Um, I don't want to make too many of these. Uh, so let's see. Put... We only need about... I'd say we'll put three in. So... That we can do six. Yeah. Alright, so uh, put one in there. One there, one there, one there. Perfect. That way we have two originals and whatnot. So we can trade these in. We can refresh three villagers right now um, and get their trades flowing and whatnot again. So they'll be actually useful again. Then I can get Shurikane and make more emeralds again because I haven't used these guys for Shurikane in so long. And they were like one of my best sources of money on the server yet. It's just got to try and differentiate these guys, which is... That's why I didn't click out of them because getting clicked on them was hard enough. Like I'm feeling I'm moving these guys out a little bit, but it might mess with the golem spawner. So I don't. Um, this is absolutely a living nightmare. Oh, I had him. I had it. No. <laughs> oh no, this is so annoying, villagers. Why are you doing this to me? Ah! Come on, I need the freaking. This is why I don't like you guys. You're too annoying. Fr <laughs> this is not even banter. I'm doing. Come on, here we go. Okay, perfect. Let me see what this guy has as well. So he's locked out at Power 2, Fortune 3. This is the guy we used. Um, he won't have any books for us. So I'm actually... I mean, yeah, sure. I'll refresh him. Let's refresh him. So two written books. One emerald. And that should refresh him. He should get some stimulation going and whatnot. Um, you over here. Protection. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay, I can't even... Refresh you unless I give you 10 books or 37 emeralds Not happening. You're a dead villager to me. Um, <laughs> that's a ripoff to say the least um, What if I can circumvent my way around these guys To get more trades with them again. This is the one guy who's just being a little girl pants. Come on get me in there I feel like this is a different trade Protection. No, it's the same guy. I think this is a different trade one of you guys who is the other guy, piss off. Why don't I just make it bigger, you say? Because it messes with gold spawners. No, that's it. I'm going crazy. I'm killing villagers. I'm killing the ones I don't care about. So you, Oh, that could have turned him into a witch if that was going to work the way it should have. There's two of you there. Which one... Good. Thank you. I can now talk to the one in charge. 
and you require two books to get recharged, thorns, and respiration, and the name tag. I'm going to refresh you so I can sell paper to you later, if I come back to this god-forgiving place. There we go. Alright. Freshen up, pony boy. Uh, what about our other guy? You didn't even get refreshed! Oh, you're a different guy. See, this guy's refreshed now. See, he'll trade anything with us. And he's already got all his uh, things, so he's fine. This is probably one of the most stressful things and our methods to get this. There's one guy. Now, is there any others? I think this is the other guy. So, respiration. Yeah, but he doesn't also allow us to do it. Yeah, I screwed up these villages, you could say. Um... get being crap villagers <laughs> all right as long as we can recover with what we have here let's kill the bad ones you guys can spawn off screen well there's actually not many villagers left uh which one are you sir oh you're the good one nice all right you stick around mate uh you guys on the other hand better work together oh thanks uh better work together or you're also gonna get kicked out okay Nice work. Alright, now I need to give these guys some wheat so that they actually start getting together and whatnot. Now, I saw Ali do this a couple days ago, and I'm going to go ahead and do it as well. Uh, and use the home wheat field at the spawn, because people used it on episode 1. Uh, and I think myself included. But I'm going to go ahead. As long as you plant it back, you're, you're fine, I think, in my book. Um, as long as you put it back, you're good. You know, just leave it in a better place than you left it, and you're fine. The general rule of life. Or anything. The campfire rule, I believe. Alright. So when you get to a campfire spot, you leave it as, in the same or better condition. You know? Swag. Okay, anyway. Yo, I'm taking all your wheats. Yo, someone left this place in immaculate condition for me to just come in. Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, well, that's not a better condition now, is it? I can't be held accountable for creepers. I just can't. You, you can't you can't hold me accountable for that. I'm sorry. That's just Sorry <laughs> Man needs wheat Man needs wheat. I don't know what to say. All right. I'll plant some of these seeds back. I guess I'm not, I'll plant all these back um, But I'm not fixing that that's out of my jurisdiction. I don't have any um, hoes to work with and uh, I'm apologizing that your villager will remain Great. Hey, it's, it's fine. You still got a lot of wheat for the farm. Don't worry, man. You'll be sweet. Or oh, woman. I think it was a woman that was walking around doing this thing. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, I guess that's all that can be done. Oh, no. The rest of it's blown up. But not my fault. Because you did it yourself. Alright. Um, so, let's throw these guys in there. I still have yet to build anything with a top level. We're going to do that very soon enough as well when I get back from E3. But, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up right about there hopefully i'll be doing some off-screen things with these bad guys and hopefully they'll start breeding some more i think i killed all the bad guys so let's drop some wheat and uh they'll pick it up and they'll throw it to each other and whatnot and they'll breed with each other and uh hopefully we'll get some non-trashy uh villages but uh yeah anyways guys i'm gonna wrap this episode over right there hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did be sure to leave a like rating below i'll see you guys next time for a brand new episode of how to minecraft see you guys then